In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make custom drinkware. All right, so in this video, we're going to be working on creating tumblers with permanent adhesive vinyl. And I have these files um, linked below for you, and um, I'm using these to create sort of a mommy-daughter um, tumbler water bottle set. Um, it's actually a water bottle, not a tumbler. So a water bottle set for me and my daughter. And um, so it just says Mermaid Squad and Little Mermaid Squad. So just a cute little file. If you don't like these files, you can of course always type out your own text in Design Space and create something really cute for yourself as well. Um, but you can find the links to these below. And um, <clears throat> what I want to just go over real quick before we go to the tutorial part for assembly is when you're dealing with files like this that have lots of different colors to cut out, you're going to want to do your best to set them up so that they cut in a way that allows you to place them as they are shown on the screen. Now this is optional, so if you feel like just letting them cut out kind of all per color as Cricut Design Space is going to lay them out and then just place them individually, um, that's totally fine. You can do that. That There's nothing wrong with that approach. Um, but I want to just give you another method here of um, creating this design, which also comes in handy when you're working with like layering iron-on things and stuff like that, um, which is another, um, another subject. But um, to give you an example here, I have this file here, Mermaid Squad, and if you see here, <clears throat> these are all blue because they're the water, so they're all the same color, and Cricut would cut them all out on the same mat. So what I've done is I have actually attached all of these water pieces together so that Cricut will actually cut it out as the placement that you're seeing right here. If I were to detach these items, and we were to go to the cut screen, you would see them all jumbled. You see how they're like all jumbled right here? That's the file that I was just looking at. Now if we cancel that and we go back here and we've highlighted them and we use our attach tool and then we go to the cut screen, you see now that they're placed just as they would be placed when we go to put them on our water bottle or tumbler or whatever your canvas of choice is. So make sure that you're using your attach tool to group the similar um, colors together as they are placed within the cut file so that they're easy to just have it cut out and then you can transfer all of these at once on your transfer tape onto your water, bo water bottle or tumbler. Um, and the easiest way to do that when you're working with trying to keep the file as it is, is just to hide pieces as you need to. So if I select um, Mermaid Squad, the actual writing over here in the layers panel, you'll see that it's highlighted here and then the little eyeball that's right here, just click that off and it hides it. And then I can do the same thing with like, you know, the those and um, the starfish and the tail. <clears throat> Oops in the tail. And so if these pieces were all detached, then I would just, that would be how I would get them like that to attach them. And then I could bring the other layers back and attach them as needed. So like I said before, this is optional, um, but it can be helpful to just get them to cut out as they're shown on the cut file if you're wanting a little bit of a more exact um, route to take with layering your vinyl. And you're gonna see, if this doesn't make sense, you're gonna see how I did it when we actually go to build this project in just a moment. So um, go ahead and get your files uh, cut out and I'm using a permanent adhesive vinyl for this um, project, <clears throat> which I do recommend um, it being permanent because if you don't use permanent, then it'll probably wear off a lot faster and not last very long. And of course you don't ever, for drinkware, you don't ever want to put it in the dishwasher, you want to wash by hand. So um, let's go ahead and move on to the assembly of this project after you've gone and cut out your um, pieces here. And um, I also size this just according to the size of your bottle. So everybody's bottle or tumbler might be different. Um, size it to your preferred size. Mine 
works well at about five and a half inches um, wide. So if yours is smaller or larger, then of course scale it to your preferred size. Okay, so you see here that all of my items have been cut out just as they were attached and placed on the screen. So they'll be easy to layer um, as they are. And um, here's one piece I have not yet uh, weeded out and it's just my um, Mermaid Squad uh, text that I'm doing here. And you should be somewhat familiar now with the concept of weeding, but i um, just giving you a little visual here that you're going to want to, you know, peel away the excess vinyl and uh, make sure you get your, your letters all um, cleaned up so that they look good. And then we're going to move on to adding our transfer tape in just a second. Okay, so I have that weeded now and I'm just grabbing my water bottle of choice here. You can use a tumbler or anything that you would like. Um, and make sure your surface is of course clean and dry before we move on to adhering our vinyl to this. And you can see I got a pretty good size for the bottle, bottle there and that was just my particular size that I decided to scale the design to for my particular bottle. And I'm going to now go over to my transfer tape and get it started here to um, transfer it over to the bottle and I recommend that you start with the words because with this if this is the file you're using this particular file um, everything else is built around the words so it's good to have the words placed first and then we'll add on the other pieces um, after we place the words Of course you will place your transfer tape on top of your vinyl design and then you'll want to burnish it with a scraper tool so that it's going to pick the design up. Carefully peel the design away and if anything's not sticking make sure you lay it back down and burnish it again till it comes up. And I'm going to get my bottle here. <clears throat> And when you're working with a bottle, it can sometimes be a little difficult because it wants to like roll on you. Um, so if you have to place like stoppers kind of on the side, like get a pen or something to sort of like keep it from rolling. Um, <clears throat> and then just lay your wording down. And if you feel you need help getting it straight, then I would suggest using like a ruler or something to draw a little line with pencil. Um, or a mark on the bottle that you are able to guide yourself to placing it um, center if you feel like you have trouble placing it manually. <clears throat> Once you've placed it, go ahead and make sure that you've burnished it and you're pressing the design fully down before you go to lift that transfer tape off. It should stick pretty well and pretty easily, especially if you made sure your bottle was clean and dry before starting this project. I'm repeating this now with my next piece and if you're using this design I recommend moving to the water next um, because that's just to me that's the second biggest kind of piece of this design so I'm trying to place things with the biggest coverage first and then adding the details in later on so I'm just using the water one next and make sure you burnish it really good before you pick it up. I'm sorry guys if I sound hoarse, I'm like recovering from a cold and I've been filming videos like nonstop lately, so <laughs> I'm a little bit under the weather today, but. <clears throat> All right, so see here, I'm placing my scraper tool and stuff on the side to try and get the bottle to be still because I really need it still for this next part. 
and um, I'm just going to place it. I'm really like just feeling out the design to make sure it's sitting where I want. Um, one trick that I recommend when you're doing this is to have the design next to you on your screen on Design Space so you can get a very good like general placement of how the water, for example, should be sitting where it should be sitting next to each letter in the example. So have the image nearby because that's really going to help you make sure that you can get it in a um, good spot and it will be more accurate than if you are trying to just like remember it from memory. So have that image near you um, to help you as you're placing these layers onto the bottle. Now we're just going to keep repeating until we've got everything onto our water bottle. So I moved on to the little shells next and I'm just placing my transfer tape, burnishing, and then we'll be placing it onto the water bottle again while looking at my design on a screen to help guide me with my placement. The last piece here is the mermaid's tail. So I'm going to get that transferred there onto the tape and then place that at the top between the two little water splashes. Make sure you're pressing the design really good and burnishing it onto the bottle before you lift the tape off. Yay, there we go. So um, there's actually glitter inside. It's a double water bottle, so there's glitter inside. Um, so it's kind of hard on the camera right here to see the design in full with like the reflection and everything. Um, I'm gonna show you a close-up picture in just a minute here. But I really liked how cute and colorful these were. And I made a smaller one for my daughter that says Little Mermaid Squad. So it's a really cute like set. And you can see up close here the design and how pretty it turned out. So these are really fun and it's a, definitely a great and wonderful project that you can do with your Cricut machine. And there's endless possibilities with this and tumblers and other drinkware. So just have fun with it and give this project a try and I will see you guys in the next video.